how to use AI agents in a small business. Let me show you how right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and on this video, I am going to show you how to use AI agents for small businesses. Now, big companies have a lot of employees that can provide support and can take care of sales, but small businesses have less employees and it's harder to provide great support and have a sales afterwards support. Now, for this, there's AI agents that can help you with this situation so small businesses can take advantage of AI agents. Let me show you how to build an AI agent that can practically take care of all your support and sales needs. So this is my job form dashboard and I am in the AI agents section. If you are not located here, jump into the my agents section. Okay. Now we are going to create a brand new agent that's going to help us with our small business. So what we're going to do is create an agent. Now in this section, we have several options available to create our AI agents. We can do a standalone agent. We can create a chatbot, phone support, voice agent, WhatsApp, and coming soon a messenger. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to do a standalone. So let's go ahead and click next. And we have four options available here. We can start from scratch. And that means we have to build everything from scratch which is a little bit more time consuming. There's start with a form. That means that we can use one of our previous form or build the form and jot form and use it for our AI agent. We can use a template or we can clone ourselves. In this case, I'm going to use a template because it helps us save time to create the AI agents. Now there's several AI agents that we can use from the templates. I can preview the AI agent to know if it fits our business needs. So I can go ahead and preview this and I can find out the look, the style, what it has, how the chatbot is going to look the phone agent, the voice agent, etc. what this template has. And if I like it, I can go ahead and use this template or I can select another one of these templates. So in this case, I'm going to select a sales agent. So I'm going to use this one sales AI agent. I'm going to use it right now and it's going to take us to the AI agent builder so we can customize it for our small business. So let's wait for that to load. Here we go. Our AI agent is now loaded in and we have a basic working AI agent because we use a template. So that means that if we jump into training, there will be data in the knowledge base that we can get started with. So if we actually test this right now, it has something to go by because it's a template that we are using. If we started from scratch, we have to load in the knowledge base, but we can still do this, especially we need to do it to make our custom AI agent work for our own small business. Okay. So first thing we need to do is the builder section here. So we have the conversation page and we have the welcome page. So we want to select the avatar that fits our business needs. We have available avatars here that are loaded in based on the business that it's selected. So if this was a copy shop business, we would have baristas looking here. We, if we have a bakery, we would have bakers for the avatars and we can select the ones that we want for our own AI agent. We also have option to generate. So based on something that's specific to your small business, we can go ahead and type in the situation that we need here for the generate and it'll generate custom avatars for us for us. There's also the upload option. So it works with the uploaded image that you upload. There's also a face swap option in case you want to switch from avatar they have already and just do a face swap. Okay. There's also the style options here. So if a color scheme does not work from the template that you just selected because your branding is, I don't know, pink, you can go ahead and select this color scheme and use it. And you can customize each one of these colors here. And you can also change the heading for this. For example, it says sales agent. You can put your own brand in here or you can upload your own logo. So you can upload it from here. You can generate a image here. You can use an image that you previously uploaded. In this case, there's no images, but it's super easy to do so, right? There's a chat style. There's button style. There's a layout. So it can be to the left or to the right. There's the local upload here. So a lot of available options here. And then we have the channels. So currently we are working on the designer for the standalone. There's the chat style, and then we can work with this to build this. So we got our greeting, our open by default, pausing and the position. Same thing goes with the phone agent. We have our details to design there, the voice agent and the WhatsApp agent. But we are working right now with the standalone agent. Okay. So once you work with the designer, we're going to jump into the training section to train our AI agent to work for our small business. So let's go into the train section. And the first thing you need to work with is the AI persona. Now, the AI persona, if you built from scratch and you typed in the details, it will auto generate the agent's name, the agent role based on your business niche. 
But in this case, we used a template. So we want to change these details to work for our own business. So for example, it could be in this case, I'll name him Helpy because it's an AI agent, but you could decide what you want to name him, right? Then the agent role. So what is the purpose of this AI agent for your business? In this case, it's a sales agent, but is it going to be a customer support? Is it going to be a sales agent and support agent? So it can provide both roles and get, provide information based on what the user needs. So it's up to you. In this case, we'll leave it as a sales agent. And there's also other available options here that are generated automatically that could help us with our business needs. So for example, the agent role could be a customer engagement, form completion coach, a feedback facilitator, et cetera, right? And then we have the option for the chattiness. How many words is the agent going to type every single time that it responds to a question? So in this case, minimalist will be 10 to 50 characters. Short will be 50 to 100, long and chatty. So depending, I would say short would be a nice way to get started. If it's too many words or not so many, then you will need to tweak this depending on your needs, okay? Then you have your default language. In this case, it's English, but there's several languages available to use for your small business. So it doesn't have to specifically be English, right? Then we have the tone of voice. You have friendly, casual, professional, or you can type a custom tone of voice. So really customizable there. And then we have the conversation style. These will describe how the agent will talk during the conversation. So these are examples of how the AI agent is going to speak or talk per se so it knows how to respond to each one of the questions in the future. So you can add new roles right here and type in information for the conversation style. You can go ahead and remove these. You can go ahead and keep them, add more. You can modify them. And remember, these are built in here because of the template, okay? So now the AI persona is done. Now we need knowledge for our small business, okay? So we're gonna go into the knowledge base and depending on your business need, you're gonna load in the knowledge base here. So we don't want a random AI agent that will respond to random questions out there. We want it to be business specific. I mean, we want it to be smart, even smarter than us because it will have the data ready to go to respond, okay? So for example, if I add a new knowledge, there's four options available. There's the knowledge with information trained with AI. So you will type in here the data that will be helpful for the AI agent to have stored so it to respond to your customers. That's one of the ways you can go. There's also the link option. That means that we can grab a link and we can bring this out of here and it's gonna go into the link. It's gonna grab the information and it's gonna load it inside of here for it to have that data to respond. So let me give you an example. So I'm gonna add this link right here. It's for coffee grinders and this could be a use case to have data for that website or your business website or business related details for your business. So for example, if you are selling multiple products for different brands, you can grab those links from those brands so that you want to have that information ready to go to provide by the AI agent. The other situation could be a file upload. You can upload PDFs right here with details. So for example, if I grab a PDF right now for this, it's a comparison chart for coffee grinders, for example, and I can describe here what it's for. In this case, I'm going to tell it it's a comparison chart for a coffee grinder. That's what the file is for. And this is helpful to let it know what the file is for, even though it's going to read it, but it's going to understand it why it's going to be used as the AI agent is going to provide the information. So there we go. It's now loaded in and it's in the database or the knowledge base in this case. And that's one of the ways that you can add knowledge. You can also do by question and answer. So if you know about certain questions that are really popular in your small business, you can type in the question here and the response. This will also be helpful when someone is asking the AI agent something that it doesn't know, it's gonna automatically generate one of these with the question and we're gonna manually type it in here in the future. So if you're gonna get repeated questions that the AI agent doesn't have information on, we'll have the option to add the answer there, which is super helpful, right? Next, there's the actions. Actions are super useful and actions are considered as conditional logic. So if something is going to happen, it's gonna take this action. And let me give you a use case. So for example, in an action, when something happens, and in this case, when a conversation starts, you can do something. You can tell them to fill a form, show a button, say exact message, always include, always talk about, talk about. And there's several of these options that we can use for the action, the trigger in this case this is when. A really useful one would be, for example, when a user talks about, and in this case, since this is a small business for a coffee shop or coffee accessories, 
I can say if they talk about coffee grinders, then it's going to do something. I can show a button to take them to a link to buy coffee grinders, or I can take them, for example, to a fill a form for coffee grinders to know what size spaces they, they have, if they need a big grinder, small grinder, etc. And it's a great option to use all of these. You can send an email, send an API request, find a website, and actions are super useful. They can even work with the way they actually speak. So for example, they can, you can actually understand sentiment. So here's an example. So if a sentiment is a negative, it's going to always talk about solution to common problems and say exact message. I'm here to resolve any concerns you might have. And it's going to, it's going to talk about that. So it's a super useful use case. So if there's a negative sentiment, we are going to always talk about this right here or do something. So it's a great option to use. Actions are super flexible, super important to implement in your small business. So take time and add your own actions here. Okay. Then we have the tools. Available tools that you can use for a small business is, for example, find the website, take a note, send API requests to do something more advanced, show a video that you might have for your business, show list items, ask for information, set appointments for Google Calendar, set appointments, send to Google Drive. And there's several of these tools that we can start using right now with EA Agent. The next option you have is forms. Now you can see here that this template that we've added tied it to three forms that's available. We can add more forms right here from the forms that we have on our job form builder. So for example, I have a coffee survey that I can use here and I can go ahead and add it to this forms section. And that means that when the user, the customer is going to need to fill out one of these forms, it's going to automatically provide it by the AI agent. So the AI agent will say, can you please fill out this survey in its own words? And you have these available form surveys that it can provide. Okay. Then we have teach your agent. Teach your agent is a super useful tool to get started when you first build your AI agent, because by talking to the AI agent, you're going to make it more smarter and it's going to know if it doesn't have a response for a question and it's going to add it. Remember to the knowledge base where we have the option to add the response there so it can provide it in the future. So in this case, it's a training for the AI agent and you, your small business to make it smarter. So it's a great option here. Okay. Now, once you're good to go, you work with the designer, you trained it, and we are now ready to test it out. We have a preview option right here. We can go ahead and start right now and we can start chatting with our sales agent. In this case, we can go ahead and start asking it anything that we want based on the information that we provided in the knowledge base and it'll have a response for it. Okay. We give you the mobile view, tablet view and the desktop view. So once we're good to go, it's fine. Let's go into publish and there's several options to publish your AI agent to be used right away. So first off, you have a link that you can share right away and it'll take them to the sales agent page where it can start pitching sales or support, depending on what you built it for. Okay. You can send it by email. You can create a QR code. So someone scans it, it'll start up the AI agent, several useful ways. There's the chatbot option that we can embed on our website. And you have, for example, the greeting options open by default. Do you want it to open or not? Always after five seconds, after 10 or do not open automatically. You have pausing position right or left and the embed option. So all you have to do is grab this code and add it into your website. Let me give you a quick example of how to add this on a WordPress site for your small business. So I'm in my WordPress site. Here we go. Let's go into the appearance file editor. We're going to find the header.php. Okay. Let's find the header. Here it is header.php. And we're going to add this in the body section. So let's wait for that to load. Here it is. So here's the head. Let's go ahead and add it right here. Here we go. Here's our script. Let's go ahead and save this and let's preview our AI agent. Remember, we've just built this right now and we'll be able to use it right away. There we go. Let's go into our site. All right. Let's see our age AI agent. It's going to load right now. And here it is. We now have our AI agent providing help, finding leads, making sales and providing support for our customers. So it's ready to go. We can start typing in details here. There's the chat, there's voice, form, history, and all that information is available right here really easily to start using it on your site. Now, there's also the option to embed this. That means that inside of a page and not the whole website, we can embed it in certain sections. So in a post, in a certain page, in the contact page, etc., we can embed pages, we can embed the chatbot, 
a WordPress option here, the light box and a pop-up option. Each one will provide a code that we can start using right away. And some of these will provide you a customization option. So decide if you want it left or right, the size, etc. For example, for chatbot, here's the details and we're able to customize it. Now, if we want to customize the phone agent, if we're going to use that feature in a small business, and if you buy one of the numbers here on JotForm, you can start using that feature. Same thing goes with the voice agent. You have the option here to use it or not. Talk to an agent and it'll provide a voice. It'll talk and you can actually speak to it too. So it's a fluent conversation. The SMS agent, which is tied to the phone number that you purchase on JotForm, the WhatsApp, and the agent app if you want to build an app with this agent. So it's a super useful tool for your small business to start using AI agents. This will help you increase your support time, your sales, and anything you build this AI agent for. It will all depend on how smart you build the knowledge base. So it turns out to be super smart. But there you go. That's how you're going to implement your AI agent in a small business. I hope you like this video. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about AI agents and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.